So a while back here on the channel, we started a Rambo knife series where we, where we look at um, some different hollow handled survival knives. And one of the knives that keeps coming up in the comments is the Buck 184 or Buckmaster, uh, which is a, a hollow handled survival knife that is now out of production, unfortunately. And unfortunately, um, if you can find a used one, they are getting pretty pricey. I've seen them well over $1,000. But while I was checking those out, looking around, I um, happened to run into what looks like a copy of the Buckmasters, and they're around the $40, $42 range, and that's the, the Ramster Survival Knife. So I bought one, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So like I said, um, we're gonna be taking a look at the Ramster Survival Knife, and I left it in the box because I wanted you to see how, <laughs> I don't know, to me it looks kind of cheesy, the green and yellow and, and the camo, um, and it's definitely, it's not made in China though, it's made in Taiwan, which, it's generally a cut above the PRC as far as knife go, knives go, in my opinion anyway, in my experience. So, this is a, no doubt, a direct copy of the Buckmaster, and we'll take a look at that as we open this, but um, I thought it was pretty cool for 40 bucks. Uh, the Buckmasters are um, the cheapest I could find any, it's like 300 something bucks, and they go well up over a thousand now. So, I don't know if this is as good as the Buckmaster, but this is the closest I can get right now. So, so we're going to see how this one stands up to the standard testing that I put all the other uh, Rambo knives through. And we're going to do that right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by my friends at Sportsman's Guide, your one-stop shop for all kinds of gear pertaining to camping, survival, and general preparedness. I've been a customer for Sportsman's Guide for a number of years now. I'm happy to have them as a sponsor for the channel. I encourage you to check them out. I think you'll be glad you did. Okay, we are back. So without any more rambling, let's take you down to the old stump top. Let's unbox this ramster and get to doing some of that knife stuff. Okay, the suspense is unbearable. Let's just unbox this thing and see what we got here. All right, let's open it up first. Let's take it out of here. Oh yeah, look at it. it looks pretty cool. It's stainless rost fray. I don't know what that means. Taiwan, and it's very, very, it's very similar to the Buck, the Buck 184. So let's see what we got in the pouch here first of all. So we have a compass, which was um, if I, if I understand correctly, the original Buck Masters came with a compass in the handle, kind of like Rambo's knife on first blood um, is in here this is this is just a plug this one has a compass in the pouch which is pretty cool uh, the, again the Buckmaster came with a silver compass this is an unmarked compass but it does seem to point basically north um, I'll tell you that and it's got a little lanyard with it so there's that in the bottom there is another little pouch so there's two, two little pouches on, on the uh, sheath and they, these come off just like the uh, the ones on the Buckmaster. These will pull out of this little this plastic sheath here. We're going to leave them on for now. This also has a strap here. There's a little sharpening stone behind it, so that's pretty cool. I think just like the original Buckmaster. So this is definitely a, a copy. And, and you know, I don't know if that's a bad thing but that somebody stepped in to fill the void that was created when Buck quit making those. Because I'm kind of sad they did. But let's see what's in the bottom pouch as I'm rambling on. I think this is the uh, spikes, grappling spikes they call them. And these are designed to go uh, actually onto here like so. To allow this thing to be used as a grappling hook, uh, supposedly. Um, and supposedly the original Buckmaster was created for Navy SEALs. Um, that's kind of weird. I don't know. But I guess you could, you could hook a line to here, throw this thing up, and that could catch on something and pretty 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 cool there i guess um but these seem to be pretty well made they screw in there pretty solidly you know you wouldn't want to try to use a knife with them i don't think because it would hurt your hand but they're i guess they would work pretty well as a grappling a makeshift grappling hook not sure about that but anyway they, they screw on there and they screw in very well there's no 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 messed up thread feeling, you know. They don't feel like they're, they're dragging or, or not cut, not threaded properly. So the other thing about the pouch is it's got a drain hole in the bottom and a little lanyard, a leg, a leg thong here, so to speak. And then pretty cool the way it fits on your belt. It's got a nice fast tech style buckle. And so that's going to allow you to take it on and off pretty easy. And then it's um, obviously ambidextrous. And the... Uh, Snap fits over the guard, over the one of the finger guards here, 
and snaps on right there pretty well. So that's everything about the sheath. It's a nice solid plastic sheath. All in all, um, without having seen the original Buckmaster sheath, this seems like a pretty pretty good deal. Um, it's got the two pouches there. You got a compass with it. Um, you know, don't know about the quality of the compass because it's not a silver, but it does seem to be pointing in the correct direction. And the uh, grappling spikes did screw in very well and seem to uh, you know fit. They weren't they weren't loose. They didn't have any slop to them. They fit right. So there's that. Before we take a look at the blade itself, let's see what kind of survival kit we got in here. We've got a um, little o-ring here for to seal. Let's see what we got inside there. So it's got, if you can see inside there, it's like an epoxy inside. I saw a Buckmaster that was unassembled on the internet and basically it has a little tab that slits that fits in here and then it had a thread on it with a nut that fit um, screws to the bottom of this. This has got like a, just a hole in it at the end, like a solid end with a hole in it with a nut on it and then they put an epoxy, they fill that up with epoxy so, so hopefully that provides a little bit of rigidity there but let's see what's in the survival kit. So it has a little wire saw. Not sure how that works. We might try that out. A little fishing kit. It's got a little fishing line in here, a couple of sinkers, and a few hooks. And then there's a couple of little needles in there. So I didn't know what these were at first. That's the handle for the wood saw, for the emergency saw. So we're going to try the saw out just for kicks. I don't really have a lot of good experience with these kind of saws, but we'll try it and then we'll get to the knife stuff because it's getting it's getting dark i know that surprises you this is a very very stiff saw it's not really like a flexible thing so it doesn't feel feel like it's got a whole lot of abrasiveness to it either Let's see what it says it says it's a wire saw and also it says on the box that it includes some matches but there are no matches in here not a positive experience with the survival kit so far but so this wire saw it goes to here like so and then this other one goes in here like so. Let me see if I can get a piece of wood and see if this thing actually saws it. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> well, hey, not too shabby. I'm actually reasonably impressed with that. It did better than most wire saws I'm familiar with. So it's handy to have that wire saw, I guess, for you know cutting small branches and whatnot. For tindling. Tind for for tinder or kindling. I guess we just caught it a new word. We'll call it tindling. Really disappointed that there's no matches, but there's not. So and I don't know also, it'd be great if this came off. I would rather see that be able to come off. Because that's gonna get in the way of balance testing. Just be honest with you, there's no doubt that'll be in the way of balance testing. Matter of fact, we might have to t leave that off because we're gonna have to balance test this. You know that, right? You know that. So that leaves us with the knife. The knife itself features a seven and a half inch blade of stainless steel, heat treated to a rock roll hardness of 52 to 56. Has two styles of saw teeth on the back of the blade for emergency cutting of metal, wood, rope, etc. So we got like a, a non-offset notching type solves here and then we have serrations here and then we have a uh, not a really even grind here if you can see that grind it's not really even but it's a um it really is it's slightly a hollow grind not much but it is slight hollow grind pretty good point there so let's just see how well it does some knife stuff now first we'll do a little a little chopping because it's pretty good size so we'll see how well it chops and certainly it's not an axe but let's see and it's a hollow grind so hollow grinds don't necessarily generally chop the best certainly not a chopper okay but this is some really really hard really hard cedar also so do a little cross batoning here let's see how that does i'm trying to be pretty tough on it i don't want to i don't want to baby it i mean it's a 40 dollar knife and it's already failed the mat the, the match test by not having them okay so i beat that one pretty good that's a hear that that's a little loose you can see that right there 
but in all fairness it's still not going anywhere now let's just split this out we got a knot there so we'll see how it baton's splitting i know that's what they make axes for but this is supposed to be a survival knife right So not bad. That's pretty. That's pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly. Let's see how well this thing carves some feathers. If I can find something to carve a feather with, I did not pick the best feather carving stick. But let's see. Let's try this. Yeah, well, that's not too shabby considering that what I had to work with, especially. Let's see what it does when you try to saw it. This is without a doubt some really tough stuff here. This wood is. So I don't know. This is mostly for notching. I don't think it's going to be a saw saw. Let's see. But, uh, did a little notch. Nothing great. We got the uh, serrations here, which really don't seem very sharp. But let's just see. Let's grab a ferro rod and see if we can single strike a ferro rod anywhere. It feels like that's pretty sharp. Okay, you know what? I've got here, and this thing was laying by the way. Just let me show you. You see how wet that is? This is fatwood. The piece, the same piece of fatwood that's been laying out here in the rain for, I don't know, like four years. So let's see what happens if we get some fatwood going. Carve down a little bit so you get to that. To that golden goodness look at that would you look at that let's just try the old uh, saw here and see if you get some fat with scrapings that way yeah let's see how well that does usually it doesn't take very much There we go. Not bad there. Okay, so that was some of the uh, practical use tests for the Ramster hollow handle survival knife. Um, again, in my opinion, this is a direct knockoff copy of the Buckmaster 184. I don't know if you can call it a knockoff since Buck's not making those anymore, but definitely a very close derivative. As far as a, a, a lightweight chopper, it did okay. Um, it actually held up really well to the batoning, other than the guard kind of got loose and shaky, which is, you know, that's not a big deal, I don't think. The handle itself seems pretty solid, didn't get shaky. The edge is, is pretty good on it. I can't complain about that. It did a pretty good job of carving feathers. The saw back is pretty much a notcher, and it did really good on the, um, on the fatwood. Pretty good on striking a ferro rod. Altogether, I mean, it's, it's a functional, useful knife. A little disappointing there's no matches in here. It's, they're supposed to be matches. And I think if they're gonna do anything, they should have fires. So anyway, that's all good. But as you know, in addition to the practical testing, here at Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters, we maintain a state-of-the-art cutting edge knife testing facility. And one of the things we always like to test on every fixed blade, especially these Rambo knives, is the balance. And we use the balance orientation and rotation device to do that. So I've got the, the, the back off of this thing with a little loop on it because I know that's gonna interfere with the balance testing. So I just took it off. We're just gonna see how, how well this thing passes the balance test. So let's get to it. So I bounced off and hit my stool. You wouldn't want that to happen to your leg. So this is a, again, a highly scientific testing environment. You shouldn't do this at home. One more time. 
Okay, we're gonna call it some balance. I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with the, I mean, I banged the heck out of this. I'll leave some of the missed footage in uh, when I didn't have it calibrated properly because um, I, I whacked it a few times pretty solid and the blade itself in the handle connection is 100% wobble free. The only thing is the, uh, the hand guard here is a little loose, but it was already loose. The blade's really solid. I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest with you. I was really expecting this thing to, 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 to have some wobble and looseness in it. It doesn't. It did really good. If you've seen the other videos, I'll put a link to, to the, the playlist in the, in the description. Maybe one right up here. I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments below as to whether or not, how you think this one ranks up to the other ones, um, both in quality um, and in value. I think those are two separate categories. Well, anyway, this is the uh, Ramster Hollow Handle Survival Knife, about 42 bucks on Amazon. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday, sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, I invite you to subscribe to my weekly email newsletter at survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe. <laughs> Every week I'll send you an email with links to the uh, previous week's videos plus any news or information or offers I think you might be interested in. Also throughout the year we'll be doing special special uh, events for the subscribers only. So be sure and check that out and thanks for all your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You are watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.